All right, guys. So this here is a 60 millimeter ammo box can. And what we're gonna do today is build a mini charcoal gas fire out of this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get this cleaned up and get some fresh paint on it and we'll start processing it. All right, well that was fast. Okay, so this is the high chomp paint I use. This is 2000 degree header paint. This is not grill paint. Um, this is, uh, you can get this at AutoZone, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Menards if you're in the Northwest. Um, so that is what I use. But this can is closed. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to install the, the base, base stand. Um, this is something that you can make yourself. It's just 14 gauge steel. I have a CNC machine, so I cut mine using that. Like, you don't have to, you know, follow this exact um, method. Um, you just need to get it up off the ground, and then you want to get it, you know, some kind of base to keep it from flipping over and you know, keep it stable. So the, I'm going to start out um, installing. It. So. Eyeball the center best it can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. So as you can see, I got my center holes marked. I'm just gonna center punch those and drill those out on each side. Okay now. I need to install the, the cross members of the feet. So I got some 80-20 here, but you know you could use uh, just a piece of pipe and run some uh, thread rod through through it, and uh, that'll make your, your stand. Got some aluminum, so got some options there. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these.
So as you may notice, I got this offset, and there's a reason for that. And that's because we will be adding a water drip system, so we'll need a tank for that. And I'm going to use uh, one of these small ammo boxes for our water tank. So that is to keep it, uh, keep it stable and from tipping over, especially once we get that full of water. Okay, so the next step... To add our shield we're gonna add a, a couple shields actually so one is uh, our face shield and this is gonna be where our intake uh, nozzle will go and then there'll be two side shields that will mount in here like so and this angle is to support our grate because this is a downdraft charcoal gas fire this will fit in here like so. We'll get a picture of that once we're uh, once we're done. Alright, so basically I'm gonna lay this out. And I'm gonna go just slightly above the bottom. And mark out all my holes. So I'll center punch all those and then uh, we'll get that installed along with our, um, our flanges. This is for a one inch MPT so this is so that we can uh, um, create a, a jet adapter that will um, just plug and play with this. And I'm going to do two of them because I'm going to experiment with this one with a, uh, an EVAT tube. Um, we'll get into that more, more later, probably long after this build. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, center punch those and mount that in place. Okay, so the front shield, heat shield is installed. Um, one thing I forgot to note is the hole saw. I used a one and a half inch hole saw to knock out my center for my nozzle. And it is approximately six inches from the bottom. Alright, so the next step is to install the side shields. So the reason we're installing this, this is really thin metal, this thing's going to get very hot. So we're going to need to install uh, some side shields. This will go in about like so. So I'm going to have to mark my holes and drill these in there. Now I did weld um, my grate supports, but you can simply drill holes and bolt this to this this shield and we'll show you the grate this grate is just something I see and see but you could use uh, some heavy gauge uh, expanded metal for this or, or, or um, fab uh, something sim similar to this with half inch holes drilled in it um, it's not very specific you just need to hold your fuel up while you, uh, you pull the gas through the, the grate so I'm going to go ahead and do that part and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to install the grate here. So the grate just sets on them, on them rails. Alright, so the next step is to install our gas pickup tube. And I'm going to install mine on the inside. The big slot you may have noticed on the grate, that's what that's for. That's so that this can uh, extend through it and uh, pick up the gas from the bottom side of the grate. So it's going to fit in here. So,
So now I've got to lay that out, drill the holes, and then I'll install that. Now you actually could do, an, do this externally. You could add another T to the bottom and, and pull it from the bottom and come up through the, the back side. But, um, I think it looks a little more refined and it's not really saving you very much capacity. So I'm going to do mine internally. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark those holes out and get that installed. Okay, so that is what the pickup tube looks like when it's installed. Now I did end up cutting the, uh, the nipple off the end of the, the pipe. And then you can see my grate. I was a little up on my measurement for the, the grate slot. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the back there. I may just leave it open, but I may, I don't know, I might put some mesh in there or something. And then here's the flange on the back. So you see I double flanged it. And that's so that we could add our, uh, our port adapter later. And then also note I did use RTV. And then also note the T here, and that is so that you can put a plug in there and then service that at any time. You can clean it out. So now I got goop on my finger. So I have to conclude this part of the, the build. This is the basic uh, construction of the gasifier port portion. So the, uh, the next installment will be adding the, the water tank, the um, air jet nozzle, and the, uh, the port in the back. And then uh, after that, we'll probably move on to the filter system and then the startup board. Alright, thanks for watching.